Yo, what's going on guys? This is Win and welcome back. We just got the brand new patch notes for version 0.9.40 for New State Mobile. They just released like 20 minutes ago. So let's hop in and see what it's all about and react to it. Haven't seen this before, so this is my first time. Hello, survivors. Seeing everything. New Hello, survivors. And more are featured in New State Mobile's October. All right, patch new mode. Notes. Here we go. M24C2 has been changed from the bipod to the tracking bullet. Hey, hold on a minute tracking bullet so we now have a new customization so when you shoot somebody to the tracking bullet once you hit a target the tracking bullet leaves a visible indicator for your allies to see even when they're behind cover that's actually super cracked it kind of i mean honestly that reminds me of one of the abilities in pubg mobile right now for uh the halloween event but this when is applied really with sick to m24's magazine slot can no longer be used and it's m24's magazine slot can no longer be used and its reload speed will also be decreased its reload speed will also decrease Okay. Very nice. We have created the auto fire feature for beginners who aren't yet accustomed to new state mobile's controls. Once enabled, your weapon will automatically fire shortly after locking on a target. For AR, DMR, LMG, SMG, SG, HG weapons, auto fire will activate for targets within 150 meters. For AR, DMR, LMG, SMG, shotgun, for 100, auto fire or active targets within 150 meters and 200 meters for sniper rifles. I don't know how I feel about auto fire, man. I mean, I, honestly, it's not that big of a deal. I understand it helps beginners. That actually could be cool for getting new people into new state, but honestly, auto fire, uh, for someone who, like myself, who's played mobile games, uh oh, antivirus, uh oh. For someone like myself who's played mobile games for like oh, seven, eight years now, that's the first setting I turn off is auto fire. I don't really care. I don't feel like noobs are going to all of a sudden have this massive advantage, especially because he did say it takes a second. Once you've like scoped in, auto fire will begin. For more advanced players, you're able to shoot immediately or even pre-fire. So like auto fire is not actually that big of a deal. I feel like that's one of those things that people are going to rage about and be like, why did they add it? It's actually not that big of a deal because you can't even hit fire or you can't pre-fire with um, auto fire. 200 meters for SRs and crossbow. The auto fire feature can be toggled on and off in the control settings. So you people just turn it we off. We made probably. some balance changes to weapons. MP155 Ultima's bullet spread has increased, and the damage of M110A1 has also slightly increased. That's good. I always felt like the M110 was a little bit underwhelming. It, I mean, just from a sound effect standpoint, it doesn't sound like it's really that lethal. And I know sound has nothing to do with it. I mean. The AMR could sound like a rubber duck squeaking and do a lot of damage, but for so something about the M110 doesn't sound satisfying like it does. Like the A dub sounds like it packs a punch. This M10's like, pew, 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 you know? So I'm kind of glad they buffed the damage. By enabling display in lobby for a weapon through the inventory, you can now use that weapon in the starting island. Please tell me the next thing he says is. We've reduced the sound of bullets in the lobby to for quality of life. Please tell me. Okay, maybe not. But it sounded like they did, actually. If, let, let's listen. It sounded kind of quiet. By enabling display in lobby for a weapon through the inventory, you can now use that weapon in the starting island. I don't know. Maybe not. I can't tell if that's the editing of this video where they lowered the gunshots. Um, but definitely next patch, I'm probably we're probably going to see something that's like, we made the weapons not be that loud. Because I remember when they did that for Akinta, all the starting weapons, dude, were so loud. I had to like mute the game for the first, you know, matching in the minute uh, because it was just nonstop gunfire in my headset. In-game updates, here we go. We made New some mode. adjustments to Exhibit no. Halt and Team Deathmatch for balance purposes. The positions of the previously asymmetrical central oh. booth and box have been changed. Also, the escalator has been disabled to allow for better vision after arriving at the second floor. Nice, yeah, I feel like the escalator was, it was cool, but it also was kind of annoying. There will now be boats that spawn along certain shores in Akinta. Okay. The sunset weather, which was previously available only for Erangel Extreme, is now available in Erangel Original. Why? Oh, dude, I, uh, I personally, I know this is all opinion. Some people like dynamic weather and all that stuff. I do too. I like thunderstorm, fog, and sunny weather. I don't like this dusk. The the sunset mode, it makes everything look so brown and, and not appealing. 
You can now enjoy Battle Royale games without the pressure of losing ranked score. Simply toggle Ranked Mode off to disallow your match results from affecting your ranked score. You can check the Ranked Mode icon displayed in the lobby to see which allies have enabled Ranked Mode. Auto Match will be disabled if a party member has Ranked Mode toggled off. Wait a minute. So is everyone just thrown in for funsies? And you either can have Ranked on or off? Interesting. Actually, wait, that's cool. I thought they were adding a whole unranked mode, and I was like, oh, man. We're going to have, like, ranked Erangel, unranked Erangel, ranked Troy, unranked Troy, ranked Akinta, unranked Akinta. And I thought, I'm like, that's going to be too many modes and too many maps. But they proved me wrong. I think you can have ranked people and unranked people playing together, but that's actually genius because you can decide whether or not you want to, like, have it affect your score or not that's pretty cool imagine like you grind up to like ace and then you like turn it off so you're just jay chilling and like you don't have to worry about falling back all the way down that's pretty cool ranked mode auto match will be disabled if a auto match will be disabled if a party member has ranked mode toggled off a party member has ranked mode toggled off okay so you'll only auto match with other ranked people if you're all ranked that's cool to disable ranked mode, you must have at least 3,000 points in the mode and server that you have selected. 3,000 points, I think that is what, contender? Regardless of whether ranked mode was toggled on or off, all players will be matched into the same, same session, session based on the ranked score of the highest tier member in your party. Based on the highest tier member? Oh, that's interesting. So I could, like, what if you had one teammate as a conqueror and then it's like, dang, like sweaty conqueror lobby, man. Even if your teammates are like silver. That's kind of interesting. I do like this, though. I think this is really cool. It mixes everybody together. Unranked, ranked, ranked, but maybe you have it off. You know, like, that's pretty dope. Certain rules have been changed for Bounty Royale. After you die, a portion of your prize money will transfer to your loot box and cannot be picked up by you or your allies. That's awesome. So if you die, you'll lose the cash that you had and uh, your the opponents can pick it up or, you know, vice versa. If you kill somebody, if they had a ton of cash on them, because before you'd kill them and they wouldn't have any money, which was odd. You're like, I just watched you loot that drop. You have like, I know you have like $600 on you. I killed you. Where is it? You know what I mean? So now you can actually not only get money from drops, get money for completing rounds, get money for finding it on the ground. Now you can actually get money, not just for killing someone, but also they'll have it on their body when you loot them. I think that's cool. It's another way to get money. Kill prices for certain phases have been lowered. 150 for phase 2 is now lowered to 100, 400 for phase 4 down to 200, and 600 for phase 5 is lowered to 300. Kill prices for phase 1 and 3 remain unchanged. Interesting. So they lowered it a little bit for how much you can get. But I think overall you're going to get more by being able to loot money from the kills. That's cool. The brand new recruit mode has been added to new state labs. Wait, 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 wait. What? I heard, I read, I saw a leak about this. Look at this. 10 people, dude. <laughs> what the heck? This is going to be crazy. So in recruit mode, recruiting is faster than the original battle rail. Your HP and boost gauge will recover when you successfully recruit a teammate. So you recruit somebody, you get health back. Now, you can have a max of 8 people and uh, 10, but 2 are dead. That's really funny. The key to winning a chicken dinner is, the, is to first secure 8 teammates who can fight. So wait, you don't automatically win if you get eight, right? It's just you can get a team of eight. You bro, imagine rolling up in the full like convoy of eight dudes. No way. I want. Oh my god, I want to get like four like teammates that are stream snipers. Like kill them on purpose, recruit them, and then be rolling deep in an eight man like battalion. Oh dude, Saint Labs. Imagine one v eighting a squad. Oh my god, a one v eight. This new mode for Akinta allows you to recruit much faster for a maximum of 8 players per squad. Once you complete a recruit on an enemy, your HP and boost will be recovered to 100%. You know, I think this is cool. Like, if you think about why they made a mode like this, it's also a little bit more friendly to new players. Um, and, you know, it ultimately, if you get knocked but you get recruited, and then let's say that team goes on to win, like, you still get a chicken dinner. That's pretty cool. Like, if a full team of 8 people win... Uh, that's like a really positive experience for eight people to have fun and win. Uh, cause battle Royale is punishing, man. Uh, you know, four people can only win out of a hundred or like only two or one, whoever survives. But in this mode, it's kind of fun. Like 
You might go in, your team might get eliminated, but if you get recruited and then that team goes on to win, you still win, which is dope. Percent. We will continue to be introducing new content through New State Labs, so stay tuned. Gain DXP for Deathmatch Combat level have been increased. EXP for Kill, Death, and Knockout are all increased by 50%. EXP for Wins have gone from 100 to 150 and losses from 30 to 75. Okay. You can now enable attachment skins for legendary weapons by using the new attachment tokens. Attachment tokens can be purchased and gifted from the NC store. Survivor Pass Volume 12 features Wait, 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 hold on. That was like kind of sick. What was that? You can now enable attachment skins for legendary weapons by using the new attachment tokens. So for 600 NC... Legendary weapons by using the new attachment... I can buy attachment an attachment. Token. Attachment tokens can be purchased and gifted from... So if I wanted to buy an 8x scope, it costs 18 attachment tokens. Hmm. The NC store. Interesting. So it costs 600 times 18. That is about 10,000 NC. That's like 30 bucks for uh, an 8x scope. That's a lot better. That's way better than uh, having to get an entire AR LMG token, SR DMR token, which is like a lot. Uh, that's This is way better. Survivor Pass Volume 12 features... Yo, I, I honestly, I could go back and buy all the scopes for like all the old guns that I never got because it just was way too much. Uh, having to get so many AR LMG tokens to not only upgrade the gun, there was no way I was going to waste a token on like a 4X or something. You know, like that wasn't really worth it, but I'm, I'm glad they balanced that part of the like real world money economy because there were like that wasn't worth it at all. The cost was too much. Edward from the Hunter's Faction. Complete. So we've got Edward and he's got a pretty lit outfit. Lead story missions. Hey, isn't that that mask? That mask was like in the alpha trailer. It's finally in the game. I think I remember that mask. To obtain Edward's outfit and appearance. Here we go, the Dead by Daylight collaboration. New State Mobile's newest collaboration features Dead by Daylight. Check out the new upgradable weapon, new set of outfits, along with the collab story missions to obtain exclusive rewards. Is that a zombie? <gasps> Is there zombies? For more details, please check out our written patch notes. Wait, oh, wait, new state. What? You can't just say... Patch notes. You can't just show zombies and say there's a Dead by Daylight mode and potential night More mode. More details, please check... You gotta give... Well, give us the details. All right, so hold on. We've got a what? Dead by Daylight. New upgradable weapon. New set of outfits, along with the new collab story missions to obtain exclusive rewards. Check out the new upgradable... Okay. New set of outfits. Do we have the written patch notes yet? I don't think they have the written patch notes out yet, man. Oh, man. News. Dang. So, they don't have the written patch notes yet, but they're teasing it. So, maybe they don't want us to quite know what's going to be in this update just yet. It's funny that we don't know what it's like, what it's about. I'm going to rewatch this one more time. So, there's definitely a night mode. That's been something that's been teased quite a lot. New State Mobile's newest collaboration features Dead by Daylight. Check out the new upgradable weapon, new set of outfits, along with the collab story missions to obtain exclusive rewards. For more details, please check out our written patch notes. Thank you for watching. Man, imagine if New State dropped like an endless zombies mode, like Call of Duty just did. You know how sick that would be? Like you have to defend a house and it's just wave after wave using all of the cool like New State, you know, scout drones, using smoke grenades, like poison gas grenades to like fend off zombies and stuff. Oh man, that would be so sick. But there we go. So all in all, we got a uh, new customization for the M24. We can now do bullet tracking, which I think is actually really, really OP. Uh, auto fire, that's all right. In-game changes, so it looks like the ultimate shotgun got a bit of a nerf. Um, you know, a couple tweaks and whatnot to like TDMs and stuff. Got boats on Akinta. Uh, what else is there significant? Uh, the recruit mode looks, sounds and looks like a lot of fun. The unranked mixing with ranked, I think, is going to be one of the one of the secret big updates that people are going to be pretty happy with. I think that's super cool. Uh, it's going to keep real player counts high. It's going to keep bots like low. You know, if, if people want to go into a match, but they're like, I don't really want to lose rank points. That uh, Previously, that may have prevented them from wanting to play. Now they can just turn it off and then run into match. And, uh, you know, 
You're going to have people going to frag out, get high kill games and stuff. You're going to have other people that are camping and be more conservative because they're ranking. It's going to be a mixed bag, which I think is what Battle Royale should be. It shouldn't be a camp fest for everyone. You shouldn't have everybody mixed in, you know? Some people have a lot to lose. Other people have nothing to lose. Like, let it rip. Everybody in the same lobby. High skill, low skill, low skill ranked, unranked. I think that's super cool. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. So, anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. We'll be uh, covering the new update and whatnot here on the channel. And uh, Dead by Daylight mode coming soon. So, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.